Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Bishop. Greg has the night off. The health department is reviewing hundreds of applications to open a medical marijuana dispensary. Brandon Lewis is live in studio tonight. I know, Brandon, the state only plans to issue licenses to five organizations, so competition's got to be tough. Yeah, it sure is, Liz. Each can open four dispensaries. Many of them plan to open here in the Capital Region, with some already securing leases. Now, we don't know where they are yet, but they are planning, at least letting us know at this point, how they plan to run them. Hopeful dispensary owners wielded dozens of boxes to the Department of Health. Each contained thousands of pages filled with detailed information on the potential business. It is site plan information. It is very specific to the logistics. It's very specific to the type of dispensary locations you're going to have, where you're going to have them, what type of facility they're going to be in. Several companies proposed storefronts in Albany and at least one wants to build in Clifton Park. Etain LLC not only wants to open a dispensary on Albany's Pearl Street, but also a cultivation and factory in Warren County. The goal of Etain, and I think a lot of the competitors that are competing for these licenses, is to serve as many patients as possible. And, you know, there's a finite list of diseases that are eligible for the treatment of medical marijuana. We hope that list grows. But right now, when you only have about a dozen, uh, you know, opportunities to treat patients, the, the number of patients statewide is not that great. Most applicants stressed their stores are different than those in California or Colorado. New York's medical marijuana law is more restrictive and uses pharmacists. This will be a very generic storefront, um, black and white signage, and really no mention of the marijuana product. We'll really only to be, be dispensing pharmaceutical looking products that are extracted from the plant, um, supplied in a liquid that can be taken orally or through a capsule, as well as vaporized solution. The state requires applicants to open by January 5th. Many are taking a chance and signing leases on future sites in hopes their application is selected. It'll be a nervous two months, though. Uh, at this point, it's kind of out of your hands. The Department of Health is expected to select license holders late this summer. It's also working on creating a program to register doctors and certify patients. The department, though, hasn't discussed a timeline for that. Live in studio, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.